right. Well, we've been away off Kunduri TV for about six months now, and why we've been away is because we started a restaurant. Oh, damn. Um, but yeah, so that's been crazy. Um, I should like insert a like footage of like all the things that have been happening six months, but nah. But anyway, it's like you know we've met so many people while opening the restaurant and that, and uh, thought of just kind of doing a new vlog of us buying stuff in the morning and what we get to showcase all the fresh produce we get at the shop to make the food taste so good. So uh, we're at Cedar's Bakery for breakfast, which is in between Preston and Thornbury uh, before we start our day of uh, buying stuff for the shop. And they uh, are a Middle Eastern cafe slash uh, supply shop or supermarket um, and uh, bakery as well and does amazing food here. Good morning. This is where I go when I'm feeling like I want to eat something from my childhood. Okay, so we're in the car now. We're actually starting our day at the coffee. Yeah. That, you know, coffee is life, that whole cliche, whatever. We have been missing because we've just literally opened a restaurant and um, it's been crazy. It's been a real journey. It's been. <laughs> <laughs> that whole journey, but it actually sums up a lot of the experiences that we have been going through for the past How many how many months has it we been operating for eight months? Uh, yeah, about eight months now The reason why we opened the restaurant is because we want to share with people the food, right? Our food, like what we eat, what we sort of our recipes and whatnot And I thought to myself like why do we have to give them something much a mass produce or whatever? Why don't we just give them like whatever we eat? So, um, so I started with that basis lot. Like, just go to the same um, supermarket as how I used to before. Go to the same butchers and go to the same lady who supplies me my fish and whatnot, and and just do the same thing except for a large on a large scale opening a restaurant, right? True. And isn't I mean I ever said that we've gone around different markets and everyone says cheaper prices and stuff, but the quality of the produce is amazing. Though. Yeah, prices, that is like, true. Um, the one, the supplies give us like the best fish, veggie, and uh, and at the same time, Preston has a great Asian market which you can get pretty much every single condiment you need for Malay cooking. Yeah, that's really. true. I don't really have to um, go anywhere else. Okay, like really, this is half. Okay, half the time that we actually come out in the mornings to get to Preston Market to buy stuff for the shop, like um, it's really finding parking. Like really, I could get this done much faster. In this parking all the time, time. Where's the parking? Where's the parking? They're the best? Yeah, careful, don't help over. Okay. They're the best people. You've been yeah. shopping here for how long? For so long, when I was a kid, when I was a student. Yeah. So what do I do actually do uh, during market days? It's probably the worst, but I actually don't like going to the markets. It's probably the type of thing that Irina likes going to do. Um, and what I do on market days, I, I'm the driver, I lift stuff, and um, I hang out with her. Yeah. And on other days when people ask, what do I actually do in the shop, uh, since I don't cook, um, I'm just the pretty face that makes coffee. No? <laughs> changed over the years now it's got like um like a really cool place it's got pan this place called pam lame and we're walking past the here so it's got like all these like indie shops of like it's not like that this is one shop that just sells oj and sangers in the morning or sangers in the morning that's violet she helps me out with my uh boxes <laughs> The 
funniest thing about Asian grocers is actually seeing Angmos or Masales or like locals um, here and like um, being absolutely lost to what to buy you know because it's quite um, intimidating when you go to the Asian grocers and you see stuff like not written in Roman script right um, so <laughs> we actually thought of like doing a personal buying service because like you know, you, it's kind of like an English translation service. Like, what is what, really? It's because there's so many things that in the shop that just sounds wrong, and but it actually tastes great. Uh, I'll try to find some things that I can demonstrate. Taochu masin. Like, how do you explain that? Like, what is that? Like, what is that? Is that like fish intestines? Mmm, fragrant meat stew. This is my um, loot for today. Say hello. <laughs> it's our delivery guy. Two waiting for Arif. Huh. Bon. Your friend, your best friend. Yeah, my best friend. <laughs> Violet, my best friend. Bon, my best friend. That the guy that gives us the 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 mint. Yeah. The one is like, oh, so cute. He's <laughs> <laughs> <So cute. laughs> my favorite. Every time he sees me, nice to see you today. <laughs> but uncle wasn't here. Uh. Uncle and I have a special relationship. He doesn't speak English and I don't speak Mandarin, right? So every time, but he likes me and I like him. <laughs> so every time he sees me, he'll just be like, Ni hao, ni hao. That's all we say. Ni hao, xie xie. Ni hao, xie xie. And then he'll be like, -na 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 -na. and I'm like, yeah. And then he'll come out and give me like fresh stuff. I'm like, exactly. You know what I mean? And this is the part where I get deep and meaningful into the conversation. So it has been like a crazy journey. This eight months of opening, starting, running the restaurant has been, it's a dream come true, but like it has been just, oh my God, intense. It was intense, Arif? Right? Intense. Like I think intense is actually an understatement. Like you cannot even explain to you, like people what you go through. Just be generally like your experience of just starting up a restaurant or any business in that ma for that matter really has a lot of challenges. Um, but I think um, the only thing that sticks to me until today, and I think I say that for the both of us, whatever you do, just be just persevere. Like just just, just stand on your ground. Regardless, like whatever hits you, like hey, I'm trying to be like deep and meaningful here. What you muscle jumpo? So on the right, you have the Trobe University. Conveniently, on the left, in the near future, which I'll show you in a couple of seconds, it's going to be a daycare, which my child will most probably go to. And that's our baby. Here's our baby! Good morning! Our side note, I hate this new look it's up. He's in two right now. Arif, I get that you run a restaurant, but you don't have to uh, carry that bag. It's pretty gross. So this guy is our baby. Can you open the door? Good morning! This is about me. Say hello. <laughs> okay? That's Akis. Yeah, hi Akis. Okay. Who's that? Okay? Who's that? Say that. No, that's Yak Dan. Say. Yak Dan. Okay. And then, who's. Who's that? Okay? Auntie. See? Auntie. First thing first, always put the durian up. about the shop or running a shop is actually picking a playlist of a day so um, considering that um, you know we're a Malay restaurant there, I'm gonna do it festive no do Christmas well, I... chill him that's the least we can do it's alright chill him I just breathe no please you're always putting on chill my jade that's the only song you know <laughs> One of the hardest things is actually like coming to work and just having to like leave Oka. I mean for most days like she goes to daycare and stuff lah but 
you know, um, like on weekends, like today, I it's either me or Arif. We have to like rock paper scissors, rock paper scissors, rock paper scissors it so that you know um, we take turns and stuff. So you're gonna stay home with Papa. I'm gonna come back later, okay? Yeah. yeah. Visit us and try our food at Sujori Malay Atri in Bandura. You can follow our page here. Leave this for like five seconds. And uh, find us so you can try our food at uh, all the things that we cook on Kinduri TV. And uh, go to sujori.com.au and then look at our menu. We have Laksa Johor. Bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Always eating.